Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another edition of Wordle with Art. All right. Um, what do we got today? We got Wordle number 671 for Friday, April 21st. This is going to be a tough challenge. I'm calling it the double Xylo challenge. We're going to enter Xylo not just once, but twice. Look at that. We got a Y. Actually, that's not terrible. All right. So with the Y... Uh, last. So, I will be honest. I did um, use my uh, algorithm to test uh, what would be the best word because I think I have the right to do that. We are really, you know, putting ourselves way behind on our available guesses with tremendously limited amount of information. So, yes, I just tested to see what would be the optimum word um, to put in <clears throat> if you got certain combinations like no hits or if you got a yellow Y. And it wanted to do pasty. And I'm okay with that. That sort of makes sense. You know, honestly, uh, or does it? Here's the thing. That Y is going to go at the end anyway. And I sort of feel like we really, I'm not trying to go for the kill here. I'm just trying to solve this darn thing. So I actually feel like maybe an E would be better. So I'm going to go with paste. Okay. All right, so we have um, we have probably something like um, uh, let's see, it could be maybe Manji. So an M and an N would be good. It could also be like dairy. All right, so let's get... Um, yeah, dairy would not be bad. Oh, actually, this is a little scary. Um, I do think we just, uh, a few more vowels, but also the sneaky thing here is that these could have a double letter. Um, hmm. There's also still room for this one. This would be unbelievably diabolical, right? There is room for jazzy, isn't there? Um, so we have to, you know, sort of think about that. Um, I'm actually kind of nervous. I really am. Um, this might not have been a very good idea. <laughs> All right. This might not have been a very good idea. So we really do have to think about what are the things that we have here. We've got, yeah, we've got Jazzy. That would be really evil. Um, we have Manji. We have Dairy. Um... We have fairy. All right. Um, I don't think the U will be too... I think the I is going to be kind of important. I mean, what would it be with a U? Uh, not too much, right? So I think at this point, um, I really want to really gang up on the consonants. And I think my only legit... Yeah, my only legit vowel should really be the I. So we have to go nuts with the consonants here. Um, I'm thinking maybe like... Uh, mm. So we said like dairy, uh, fairy... I wonder if it would take fridge. Now. I mean, drink is not terrible. I 
This is extremely scary, actually. Uh, I think I, I, this, this, I'm bracing myself for, you know, this could be a fail here, guys. Um, this could definitely be a fail. Um, and by the way, this challenge is interesting in, in the sense that the only way you satisfy the, the only way you complete the challenge is by solving the wordle. So this could be a double fail. I could fail both the challenge and the wordle. Uh, this is super scary. I think I really have to take my time here. Um, and, and we have to be ultra cautious. Um, we've had gawky, so I don't think I have to worry about that, even though that would have been a good one. Um, we haven't had body yet. I think that's how you spell it. Oh man, so that's, that's interesting. I can only test so many. I mean, I think the D is pretty good. Because, yeah, because it could also be like cabby. Oh, shoot. Or a cabby. Uh, what about brick? I just don't know if I... I mean, I'm not crazy about the K. Oh, bring. Maybe bring would be better. Mm. Bring, B-R-I-N-G. Oh, man, this is really scary. All right, let's go with bring. Here we go, guys. Um, oh, geez. Ah, oh, gosh, we got to be really careful. Oh, shoot. Well, it doesn't matter. I know we have had bring before, but it, it's okay. It was really good for evaluation, I think. Um, this is unbelievably scary. Um, this is unbelievably scary. Um, so what have I eliminated here? So we don't have... Um, all right, so now we just have to really just think about all the possible words and get like the world's greatest, most amazing evaluation word. All right. So let's start with, okay, so there's no Q. So what about W, A? Oh, shoot, it could be, now we've had wacky, okay? So this is where it really pays to remember these things. So we did have wacky. And that's the only one I can see that you could get. Okay, so I don't think we have to worry about W, A. Now D, A. It could be daddy. So it could be daddy. So I think a D would probably be good. How about F-A? I don't see that because it would could have been like Fanny, but that's out. H-A. It's not... Uh, Yeah, this looks interesting, but thankfully I do remember having Havoc, okay? So we don't have Havoc. So, so, so far it's Daddy and Jazzy. We, we already know about this crazy Jazzy. That would be unbelievable. Um, how about K-A? Um, kayak. Oh, that would be a good one. Holy smokes. Yeah, it could be Kayak. Ouch. We haven't had Kayak before. CA could be caddy, so the D, the, the D will be crucial. All 
All right, let's see here. So I think I definitely want a D. And a K maybe for that kayak. Uh, let's go through these one more time, guys. This is really unbelievably scary. Uh, Daddy. Yeah, so daddy, um, I don't think we saw too much with the F. I didn't see too much with the H. Jazzy, kayak. Caddy and cabby. No, no cabby. Oh, thank God. Um, but caddy. So if I did something with ACK, um, Uh, ah, this is crazy. Um, so that would help me get, um, <clears throat> I have to get something that will just help me get as many of these as possible. This is so scary. Holy cow, we're already 12 minutes into this thing. Uh, this is like longer than, you know, I and mean, this is sort of like a straight wordle, but it's longer than some of my other challenges. Um, all right, Jack will tell us probably about Jazzy. The C will tell us about Caddy. The J will tell us about Jazzy. The C will tell us about Caddy. The K will tell us about um, kayak, especially if it's out of position. All right, let me think here. So, you know, I'm thinking about uh, then, but then the D, uh, if none of those, then it would maybe be daddy. Oh, I have to be so careful on this. Okay, I do want to just double check again here. So, W A. Uh, oh, that's funny. Up the wazoo. Uh, I don't think we would have that. Um, okay. So we're not going to do that. Yeah, da okay, so the D. Daddy for sure. Um, Daddy for sure. That's the only one I really see there.
uh, uh, F. It would be great if we could try to ignore the F. Um, I don't really see the F working. I'm pretty sure that can be ignored. All right, uh, H. We, we have had Havoc before. So I don't think the H. We know about Jazzy. And we know about Kayak. Uh, and then we know about Caddy. We have had cacao, so we don't have to worry about that. I don't think V would be uh, working. And M. I mean, I think there is this funny mammy word, but uh, I, I don't know if I can deal with another letter. All right. So it looks like it's daddy. Jazzy. Kayak. And caddy. So the D, let's just come back to this J for sure. Then I think we can go with jazzy. If the C, um, If the C uh, is yellow, then it would probably be caddy. If the K is yellow, then we're going to go with kayak, I guess. And if it's none of them, then we would have to go with daddy. So Jake, okay, so yeah, so D, no, D, nothing with the D, and I should get my daddy. J will get me my jazzy. C should get me my caddy. K will get me my kayak. I don't think I can do much better than this. I mean, it takes care of all the words that I've discussed. Um, all right. Um... This is going to be incredible. Let's go with kayak. <sighs> Woo! Woo! Oh my God. We got it, guys. Yes, I know that took 18 minutes. Oh my God. Wow. That has to be literally the world's greatest evaluation word ever made. Guys, what do you think? Is Art good at Wordle or what? Yes, he is. That was impressive. Oh my God. A double xylem. Yes, we did get the Y, but honestly, I almost feel like that made it harder because there's so many Y words. And in fact, ironically, it wasn't one that ended with Y, but it had Y in the middle. Oh my goodness gracious me, guys. Oh, that was insane. That was insane. Oh my goodness. Um, I can't believe we got that. I, I was about 90% sure that I was going to fail after bring got me nothing. Okay. But we just calmly went through the keyboard. I know it took some time. Um, but we calmly went through the keyboard and I'm, you know, I, I pretty, pretty sure I, um, listed out all the possibilities and I'm so glad I thought of kayak because that is a sneaky ass word. Oh my God, guys, we did it. Oh man, we did it. All right, guys.
I'm going to be honest. We only have about a week to go, and I'm really looking forward to the end of this tournament because this is definitely adding to quite a few more gray hairs. Um, it is. All right. We have a new challenge for tomorrow, though. I'm really, I can't believe we got that. I can't believe we got that. All right. We have a new challenge for tomorrow. Um, are you guys ready? Guess what it is. We're going to play the five diagonal row. Okay. We're going to play the five diagonal game. Let's always go with an example. It's the best way to go. What you have to do, guys, is you have to. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm still, I'm still, I can't believe we got that. All right. What we have to do with the five diagonal game is you basically can pick any letter that you want. Okay. So as you can see in my example, I picked the letter A, which I think is a good one. And you have to make sure that you keep moving it over uh, to the next uh, slot in the next row so that it forms a diagonal, okay? Now, I don't mind if you want to start in the upper left corner to create your diagonal of five um, of the same letter or if you want to start in the upper right corner. The bottom line is you must go all five rows, okay? Even if you think you got the answer, which I knew I had after Flame, I knew I could have gone with Camel, you must complete the diagonal, got it? So it will be a six guesser no matter what. Okay, so here's how I did it. I said to myself, I think A is a pretty good letter um, that we can keep shifting over one spot on each row. So I started with ascot, which is a very nice word. I believe it's a men's um, uh, like necktie or, or bow tie. And then we have to now move the A over to the next slot in the second row. So I did carry because I thought that would be great positional on the C and, you know, R and Y are good letters. Okay. And then I now put the A in the middle for the third row. So I did flame and that nailed it for me because it can only be camel at this point. But we have to continue. So it's five rows going diagonal across. Okay. So then I did break, which puts the A in the fourth slot on the fourth row. And then finally, I did aroma to complete it. And that puts the A at the end. And it doesn't matter if you repeat a letter as I did because the aroma has an A up front and at the end. And then bam. Um, you can now do camel as the final guess. So two things involved here. You have to solve the wordle on the sixth guess, and you have to make sure that you have a diagonal of the same letter. You can choose whatever letter you want. I would assume it'll probably be a vowel, um, but if you want to be a bit more adventurous, you can choose something else. And again, I started in the upper left-hand corner, but do you see where my T is in ascot? Be my guest. You could start your letter in the upper right corner and move sort of like down to the left if you'd like. Either way is good. Well, there you have it, guys. Oh, my goodness. I still can't believe we got that. Oh, I feel good, even though that was beyond scary. You know it, guys. There was a lot of silent moments. You know I was thinking this was a fail. But it wasn't. We survived. All right, guys. With that in mind, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow with yet another edition of Wordle with Art.